Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. What you're seeing right now is my computer screen and what we're doing today is something a little different. For you new carvers, uh, part of the fun of wood carving is to create your own, own projects. And I came up with an idea and I'm going to walk you all the way through the research, the designing, and doing it, okay? Just, just finishing the project. And what I decided to do was I'm going to go to the, what you want to do is think of a topic that you want to carve. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm thinking of a tulip, okay, a flower. So what I'm going to do is go to the Google page and I'm going to put in tulips, uh, picks, P-I-C-S, okay, and I'm going to do a, a Google search. And years ago we didn't have this technology and we were lucky to find anything in a library that could give us some pictures of what we wanted to carve. And I'm going to do one single top of the tulip uh, just to show you how it's done and the neat things that you can create on your own. Um, you don't always have to buy a book. You don't always have to buy things. You can create your own if you're, if you're into that and, and want to try it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, what you want to do is go, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, click on the bottom here because this is what I found before. And look at all these pictures. It's amazing to me how much there is here um, in of pictures. Now you can scan through these, and I did already. I went through quite a bit here. Um, my mom likes a certain color tulip, so I was looking for that particular one. And I don't know if I want to put leaves and everything. This is really meant for a power carving. It does a lot of. If you're a power carver, they do a lot with. Uh, drill bit, bits and things to do these flowers, but if you look at the bottom here, it says there's 154 pages and there's 11,511 images of tulips. Now I downloaded some here and let me see where I can find it here. Whoops, wrong one. Um, if we download one here, I'll show you how that works. What you do, say if I wanted to keep a picture, all you do is um, you save as, and you put the um, put the name in, and hit the button save, and then that will save the uh, the picture for you. So I will uh, go ahead and show you the pictures that I've saved so far, and I want to do a single uh, tulip uh, such as this, and see right here is where I did my black lab research and some of my chickadees and things like that. But if we go to the tulips that I already saved, here they are. Okay. Whoops. Uh, no. Let me put this one in first. Uh, it will be number... lip number... say number nine. Okay, we'll save that one. Shoot, yes. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to take a look at that, okay, and that's our picture right there that we just saved. Um, you can go, uh, there's another one, there's another one, and you can make it bigger, you know, and you can go back and forth on it. And see, now I have really a good design of how to do the top. I don't want it open. So I'm going to do a tul tulip, a single tulip by itself. And, you know, if you really look at a tulip, it has little lines, um, just like a feather practically. It has a center piece, a center barb uh, in the middle, and then it has the squiggly lines that you don't really see in a tulip unless you really look at it and, and uh, look at it very closely. So we're going to do something very similar to that. Um, and once I get, what, one thing that's really important when you're doing patterns is you want to look for a, um, for a good side profile. Now see the, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little, this is one single petal here and it's got one um, little barb and the lines are going out this way. Um, it's very important to, um, maybe you can see it now, see this, this line is in the center here and then these little lines are going out. That's a perfect profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the printer and I'm going to print this up and um, they put this in here so you can't use it on cards or whatever. Um, 
and then it's really important when you make a pattern it's very very important that you get a very good side profile of your carving if you don't it's not going to work right um, I did that with the pig that I have Jean taken care of now um, the profile I could not get a good profile on that pig and um, but yet when I did it in the clay or in the play-doh it worked out okay but then I you know I was able to move it around and add to it which you can't really do with when you carve but okay so we will um, show you a couple more here um, see here's another one that's a perfect uh, profile if you want to put a leaf with it that would be kind of nice too it going out like that um, so once you get the profile what you need to do is, is make a copy of it or whatever and then uh, make the drawing and put it on your bandsaw okay um, I will have this um, available uh, once the pattern is done if you want to follow along with this project it will be fine it will be a closed piece like this one here um, if I can make that a little bigger it will be closed at the top like that one there so it's going to just be one single um, one single tulip and it will be red in color with the um, with the yellow uh, tips on them so um, okay we're going to start here I'm going to start designing it and then when I come back I'll have a pattern and it cut out and we'll start from there okay thanks a lot